This is Anditology 2021. Here now, Andy Pollock. Hello everyone. After a year on hiatus due to a virus that uh, has changed our lives in 365 days. Well, now counting 367 to be specific. We are back with the Anditology video <laughs> that I've done every year since 2017, if you want to go far back. But here we are. We have an actual bracket to look at. I, I can't believe a year ago we were in different circumstances. Here we are a year later. There, there's a lot of smile on a lot of people. Even if your team didn't make it in, there is a big sigh of relief for everyone that uh, we were just grateful in the form that we were allowed to have college hoops return. And here we are. Here we are. So we're going to get into Andy Tology 2021, our fourth edition of Andy Tology. So here we go. First things first, let's start off in the West region. I'm obviously going to go with Gonzaga here. Gonzaga's going to move on to the round of 32. 8-9 matchup between Missouri and Oklahoma. Given the fact that Oklahoma's record is not good for an 8 seed, I'll take Missouri's chances. I will easily pick Creighton. Creighton, one of the best teams in the Big East this season. Obviously, I'm going to go with the defending champions, Virginia, who ended up being the fourth seed in the West. I am really torn on um, what to do here for the play-in against UNC. Because I'm looking at the main bracket right here. And I'm seeing that Michigan State is playing UCLA. Now, that's a very interesting matchup coming up. On Thursday, of course. But, I'm going to give benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to let the 11 seed pull off an upset. I don't really know that much about USC. But I know a lot about Michigan State. Michigan State may have a good chance if they win. I know UCLA could have a decent chance, too, because UCLA can pull off an upset. They've done it before, even though a couple years ago they had a controversial goaltending call against SMU, but you try to forget that. Obviously, I'm going to go with the mainstay with Kansas. I don't know what just happened there. It just How does thing happen? I clicked on the information button. Now, if you're doing Yahoo this year... They have that specific thing over there, so just be careful. And I'm going to go with Oregon. Um, VCU actually has made history before, but I like the Ducks in this situation. And I'm going to go with Iowa. i got to be careful with the mistakes I'm making here. Okay. Now let's move on to the South region. I will pick... Baylor, obviously. I'm going to pick UNC. I'm going to pick Villanova. I'm going to pick Purdue. Texas Tech, I'm obviously going to go with because they did play Virginia in the final game back in 2019. So, I'd be very surprised if Utah State, a school which nobody's barely even heard of, uh, defeat Texas Tech. That would break a lot of brackets right there. Arkansas, Arkansas has a good chance. I'm going to go with Florida. Florida can get hot at the right time, and then you have Ohio State. Okay, now we move on to the Sweet 16. So I am going to pick Gonzaga playing Virginia. I will easily go with Kansas playing Iowa right here. South region, I'm going to go with Baylor. And just because... I think there's a good chance for Villanova to move on to the Sweet 16. I think they get there. Villanova a couple years ago did win the national championship. 
So anything can go for Villanova, of course. I will take Texas Tech because I think Texas Tech is still hungry and they're trying to have a retribution for what happened to them in 2019 against Virginia. I'm going to go with an upset here. I think the Florida Gators make the Sweet 16. Now, Florida can get hot at the right time. I, I think Florida is capable of becoming a dangerous 7 seed here. This could be a sleeper team. I think they could at least make it the Sweet 16. Now, this is where the journey ends for Virginia. Gonzaga is the overall number one team in this tournament. Everybody expected that, especially because they haven't even lost a game this season. I am going to pick Iowa, just because, why not, one 2 matchup would make sense here. This is where I think it's going to end for Florida. Texas Tech's going to move on to the round of eight, and then you have Arkansas. Oops, I don't know what just happened here. There we go. Oh, right, Arkansas is... Yeah, Texas Tech's supposed to be playing uh, Florida. I don't know what happened there. I just made a little bit of a uh, mistake over there. Okay, so there is the round of eight right there. So Texas Tech, can we put them there? Yes, we can. Okay, good. And... This is where it ends for Villanova. Baylor moves on. So, round of eight is going to end up being Gonzaga playing Iowa and Baylor playing Texas Tech. Now, sad reality is, I think this is going to be the end of Texas Tech run. I understand everybody wants a big Texas matchup, being that Baylor and Texas Tech are in the same state, of course. But Baylor's had a pretty good run in the Big 12 this year. I just think Baylor's going to move on to the Final Four. And then, obviously, I'm going to put Gonzaga in the Final Four. I don't see why not Gonzaga's going to be in the Final Four. Remember, they have not lost a game this season. They have a pretty good opportunity to make the Final Four. I just don't see why not. And plus, they're going to defeat the defending champion, Virginia, in Sweet 16 anyway. So, Gonzaga and Baylor are going to move on to the Final Four. So now that leaves the Eastern region, and now we're going to go to the Midwestern region. So let's go to the Eastern region first. Michigan, of course, having a terrific season in the Big Ten along with Illinois. They're in different parts of the bracket, of course. Michigan will easily defeat the 16th seed. This is not going to be an upset for a 16 this year. I just don't see it happening. So obviously what I mean by a 16th seed Hartford playing too. I mean, come on. No one's really going to be dangerous as a 16th seed. It's only happened once. I'm going to go with LSU beating St. Bonaventure. Now, this is just because LSU, they lost to Alabama in the SEC title game. But LSU can go to the round 32. I wouldn't be surprised because maybe St. Bonaventure does something. But come on, 8-9 matchups are really hard to pick. But I'm picking LSU in this situation. Now, I'm going to go with an upset here. I think Georgetown, led by, yes, the all-time great Patrick Ewing, is going to move on to the round of 32 and will play Florida State. They're going to play the Seminoles. So, I will pick that. Now, I'm going to look at the bracket here for a second. BYU, what's the other 11 matchup we have right here? The 11 matchup is Drake and Wichita State. Now, this is a matchup that could be very interesting here. But I just don't see BYU losing. They were the second best team in their conference. Remember, they lost to Gonzaga in that final game. So, I don't see BYU not moving in. Um, also, I want to mention one last thing before we move on to the next pick. Um, you are noticing there is a couple missing teams there's no team from the Ivy League that got in this year. The Ivy League declined. Um, Kentucky did not make it. They got eliminated in the SEC tournament. Duke, it was a different circumstance. They were supposed to play in the ACC tournament, but then ended their season because of a COVID outbreak. So first time since 1976 that we do not have Duke and or Kentucky in the tournament. 
Also, it's very odd to see an Ivy League school not in this tournament, so you're looking at this correctly. This is how it happened. Moving on here, Texas will play BYU. This is where I see Texas moving on, of course, so... Going to go with my obvious. Sorry, UConn fans. I'm going with my Maryland Terrapins here. Uh, look, UConn has won in the 7th seed before. They've won a national championship. But uh, if Maryland can get hot at the right time, uh, Maryland can be somebody who you might want to keep an eye on. But we'll see what happens there. Alabama moving on. Sadly, I just don't see Maryland going to the Sweet 16. Uh, Alabama's going to play Texas there. Now, I'm going to pick an upset here. I will go with Georgetown playing Michigan, but then this is where Michigan moves on. Then I'm going to pick Alabama playing Michigan, and this is where I think it's going to get interesting. I see Alabama, and call me crazy here, but I think Alabama is going to move on to play Gonzaga. I know this is something crazy here, but hey, uh, th this is what I pick, so I pick as I choose here. So now we go to the Midwest. Illinois having a terrific season. They're going to move on to the round of 32. I could see Georgia Tech playing Illinois here. So I'll pick Georgia Tech, of course. Tennessee will beat Oregon State. Oklahoma State moves on too. So interesting enough, you're going to have a Big 12 Taking on an SEC team in the round of 32. I'm going to pick Jim Beheim Syracuse Orange to move on to play West Virginia. Then I'm going to do something crazy here. I'm going to pick Rutgers to beat Clemson. And I'm going to have Houston moving on, of course. So Houston moves on. West Virginia moves on. I'm going to pick Tennessee to move on to the Sweet Six. Let me make sure. Right. Moving on here. Then we're going to pick Houston. And then we are going to pick Illinois. So, Illinois moves on there. So, round of eight. I'm going to pick Illinois. So your final four on April 3rd will be Gonzaga playing Alabama. Then you're going to have Baylor play Illinois. Now I'm going to pick Gonzaga and I'm going to pick Baylor. And I think for an underdog story, I think the Baylor Bulldogs are going to hand Gonzaga their first regular Season loss. And for the heck of it, let's put a 69-68. Oops. I will put 67. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm going to have Baylor as my national champion. Baylor is going to have a terrific run in this tournament. I could see it definitely happening. And for Baylor, this would be very historic because for the Baylor Bulldogs, well, well were they the Baylor Bulldogs? No, the Baylor Bears. <laughs> for the Baylor Bears, they have not made the Elite Eight since 2012. They have not been to the Final Four since 1950. They have never won a national championship in program history. But this is where... Baylor's good season in the Big 12 finally helps them, and they're going to finally get over that edge. And I also will mention, Baylor did make it to the round 32 in 2019. Last time Baylor went to the Sweet 16 was 2017. So, uh, again, I just think Baylor is on the right track to possibly win a national championship. And I think they're going to pull it off against an undefeated team like Gonzaga. So, I know, I have to be obvious with a Power 5 conference, but hey, the Big 12 has really given us some surprises this season, along with the SEC and the Big 10. Just being honest, those have been the best three conferences 
to keep an eye on this season. The ACC has been weak because Duke's had a terrible season. Uh, UNC's not the same UNC program. I understand everybody likes Virginia, and I get the defending champions, but there's just been so much fun in the Big 12, the Big 10, and the SEC this year. And of all the college troops I watched this year, those have been the best three conferences. Out of all conferences I've watched this year. And Gonzaga, remember, they're in a different conference. They've had a very easy stretch getting to this point. So, I'm going to finish this video right now. So, Andy Tauchy is done. The first one in two years. I am very excited. I cannot wait for those first four games on Thursday. And then, we go dancing for the first time since 2019 on Friday. Thank you all very much for watching. Um, one last note, the TV schedule has not been released as I'm recording this. But if I do get a TV schedule, I will put it in the link in the description below. I know Maryland's playing Saturday, so um, that'll be fun to watch. Especially because um, I have family friends who are in Connecticut. And actually, some of the family friends are from Maryland. So, there's going to be some tension between UConn and Maryland fans in the household. Only time will tell. So, until the next one, please take care.